Hey guys, hope you're doing well, hope you're safe. Uh, we are going to try and do our best to keep the content coming during the lockdown here in the UK. Obviously we can't head off to the gym to do our normal videos, um, but we're going to do the best with what we have available. Um, hope you enjoyed today's video, it's going to be me making a little hangboard setup, maybe we'll give you some inspiration to make your own, um, uh, I'll maybe show you how not to make your own. Um, anyway, keep tuning in, uh, me and Tom are going to be trying to sort of do video almost back to back, so try and bring one out on Saturday and bring one out on a Sunday. We're kind of doing similar things, so the videos will have some similar themes, so we're going to try and bring them out nice and close together, so you get a double weekend whammy of Bobat content coming straight to you. Anyway, enough of me rambling away, I hope you enjoy the video, um, and yeah, catch you on the next one. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've bunkered down in my mum's place in the Cotswolds, uh, day two of lockdown. Um, I'm sure you're all getting pretty bored, stuck at home, not able to go to the climbing wall. Hopefully our videos are keeping you somewhat entertained during this time. Um, uh, I've been sent some stuff, some training stuffs, which I'm going to open up. Um, I'm planning on doing a couple of videos for you guys about me building my little training setup here. Hopefully I'm going to put something out there so I can admire the lovely Cotswold view. Can you see that through? Bestie. Yeah, your boy, Steve Good. So he put up on his, on his story that he was making some, some edges. And uh, I kind of cheaply asked him to see if he could make me some. These. Yes. Nice packaging, Steve. Oh, a little sticker. And some washers in there as well. <laughs> Oh god, they're everywhere. Love the bronze <laughs> washes. All about the aesthetics. Sticker there. Nine mil edges. Look at that, can you see that? Nine mil edge. Should bite the skin. A seven mil edge. Alright, so far, we're looking okay so far. And. Five mil. Goodness me. Oh, man, those are going to be killer. So, what I'm planning to do in this vid is to build a bit of a, a training station. I've got a bee snaker lying around on some campus runs. I've got these amazing new edges. Um, and yeah, I'm going to build the Uber training station. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's get to it. <laughs> I'm building a hangboard setup and I'm going to try and mount it onto this hideous bit of blue wood, which I'm probably going to sand off. Um, and then once that's all built, I'm going to try and put a bar across here so we can hang here and look at that. That's the plan. First job is to make this square as cool as wavy might look. I don't think it's going to be very handy when trying to get things on there, so I'm just going to like, make it all square, cut it, cut it, yeah, cut it, look, I've got to Talk to Cam. I don't want to talk to Cam. <laughs> talk to Cam. I'm just taking the piss out of my Crocs, man. <laughs> Look, these, these lovely viewers were bought in Oslo 
after we went sledging, everyone got really wet, wet feet, and because Oslo is so damn expensive, we all have like one pair of shoes. So <laughs> me, B, and Tom all bought some some rip-off Crocs from the shop, um, and I've still got them. Apparently, the holes is where your soles are no pride seat. Health and safety, kids. Um, Wear safety goggles, I can't find any. It's not like I can go to the shops to get some, so sunglasses will have to do. Power sander thing. Finally got a bit of a uh, flyboard to hang the actual boards onto. Obviously, can't really go out and just get to the boot at the moment, so I have to make do with what I can find. But I feel like I've got a blue Peter or something. Um, so this is the same size as the beam that I'm going to be hanging the board onto, and because it's going to be outside, I don't want to have to leave it out. Because it's going to be outside, uh, I don't want to have to leave it up because it'll get wet and horrible. Um, so I'm planning on making a design where I can just sort of hang this onto the beam and take the whole thing off. So I got a bit two before. I'm thinking I'm going to hang that, and then look, that's the depth of the beam. Then got some space to hang something down the other side of it. Is my thoughts right now. So if I do that like that, it fits perfectly. Yeah, just hopefully, fingers crossed. Making it up as he goes along, people. Slot over the back of it. It could be something <laughs> great. Drill time. First bit attached onto the back. Some screws on the front. This was the length of the depth of the beam. It's just a bit, there's a, there's a lip here. There's a height difference, and that means that, that if I try and put on this to hook over the beam, it's not going to be. And that's too wide, so I've made this little, um, they are blue Peter. Here's some stuff I made earlier. These little bits kind of go onto here. Should hopefully raise it all up so that it'll fit over the top of it. Well done. Bodging it, you know? Bodging it since 91. What's that bit? <laughs> what do you mean? Um, this bit is going to be one of the pieces to hook over the wood. Nice. So another couple of those to go. Sweet. So that's the that's what it's going to look like. We'll have three of those going down the back. And this first one in. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's just rest over the beam. That's the plan. Will it work? <laughs> yeah, it will. Disaster has struck made a fatal error. What I didn't take into account is that when you actually drill the hang boards onto the bit of wood, there are going to be screws poking out the back. Which means that the whole idea behind the design doesn't really work. But we've got a workaround. Found another bit of that lovely blue wood, which we're going to go and sand down, cut back to size, and then stick on top of the other one. And hopefully that'll mean there'll be enough wood behind the holes to stop the screws poking through. I thought we had enough B-roll of this, Joe. You don't have to do it again. I was so <laughs> confident that I had that design, like, <laughs> dialed. Board's too thin, so what we're going to do is we're going to double up. Double up. Um, and we're going to stick these little bits in between. Yeah. Um, this board. And this board. Um, to give it a little... Bit of space. A little bit of space for the screws to stick through. Perfect. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's so heavy. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Show us the size. I mean, I let's see. A real shit job of this YouTube. But look, layers there. So now there's space in between for when you hang all the screw balls, the screws to go into without interrupting coming out the back. These makers first to go on. Um. 
level. <laughs> I'm hoping I've got his level. If not, whatever. I think it is. We'll find out. I'm free to make a 2000 series. <laughs> That's the arrangement. <laughs> there we are, look, look at it. Wow, beautiful. So we've got nine, seven, five mil, Will Grips Campus Rung, Beast Maker, Happy Climber. <laughs> Sweet, well we're gonna we're gonna mount the beam tomorrow, as it were. We're gonna put the beam up then hopefully see how this thing works in action. See you tomorrow. Yeah, so we've made the board, you've seen that, and now today we're going to try and put the beam up for the board to hang on. Um, but yeah, basically it's going onto this sturdy, as you like, beam, and then this sturdy beam. We've got, what we've got to do is navigate the, uh, the vine, because my mum wants to make sure we don't damage. Um, we've got the beam, the theme of destiny, big heavy beam, this one. Oh! <laughs> Slab. Uh, yeah, we've just got to get basically all the nails out of this, maybe that bit of wood, and then pop it up. are going to tie up some loose ends, Joseph. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna cut off a scraggly end that side with a nail that we can't get out. And then, um, I'm not sure if, it, are we gonna cut it shorter? Um, just so it's easy, a little bit easier yeah, to handle, because we're not planning on using the whole of that end anyway. So it's probably measure the distance between the post and then cut it to that length. Yep. How's that sawing going? <laughs> it's harder than yesterday. <laughs> Measuring time. 285. 285. Oh no, it's still on the ground. But yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. Look at that. Slots on there are beaut. Look how good the wood looks. It looks great. Sexy, sexy. Very sexy. Nice. So we've got to try and hang this beam up. Easy job. Beam me up, Scotty. We're going to try and hang the beam, so leaving the camera there. Try and set up. This could be catastrophic. Beam. Beam. Boom. Oh my god! <laughs> it worked! It worked! Does it feel secure? Yeah, I'm uh, sure for that. Nice. It's well good. That's the board. Do not try this at home. There's, not, I'm not, there's no instructions or, or how to on this because I've got no idea. Um, I just thought I'd sort of film us going through the process of making your own homemade homeboard. Uh, if you guys have made one at home, just Tag us in Instagram. I want to see it. I want to see your home training setup during the during the lockdown. We hope you're staying psyched. Hope you're staying safe. If you've been told to stay at home, stay at home. Um, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.